Yo, what's good? It's Terrell. Just Terrell. God damn, you man like my last fight, huh? I appreciate the support for real. That was one big challenge for myself. But that shit is said and done. Got my ninth fight in a few days from now. The 22nd of June. By the time this video has come out, the fight would have already been done and gone. And I know I'll be celebrating that dub. I'm sure. I hope that you caught the live stream on the Instagram. Anyways, gonna do some last minute revision before my fight this weekend. Got a private session with Ku Kang from Shinada Muay Thai. Gonna teach me a few sweet variations. And this guy is an absolute fucking beast. You know he's got some secret sweep techniques that none of us have ever seen. So grab your notebook, cause school's in session. Let's get it. It was 8.49 on a beautiful ninth day of July There was not a cloud to speak of So the orange sun hung lonely in the sky So let me tell Tell Gang I fell off my bike yesterday <laughs> I cut off <laughs> But it's cool, it's mine If these guys find out, I'm fucked yeah, Rip me a new one So shh Smiley will see you The vibe here is very pleasant and I truly request your presence. A problem of great magnitude has a rose, and as we speak, it grows. Damn, what could it be? I thought a juice I bought and rolled on down to her spot. Seeing bros I know slapping fives, I arrived and pressed G5. And there was Nikki looking some kind of sad with tears falling from her eyes. She sat me down and dug my frown and began to run it down. You remember my boyfriend said that fly kid who I love? Well, our love was often a verb, and spontaneity has brought a third. But due to our youth and economic state, we wish to terminate. About this we don't feel great, but baby, that's how it is. But the feds have dissed me, they ignored and dismissed me. The pro-lifers harassed me outside the clinic and called me a murderer. Now that's hate. So needless to say, we're in a mental state of debate. Hey, beautiful bird, I said, digging her somber mood. The fascists are some heavy dudes. They don't really give a damn about life. They just don't want a woman to control her body or have the right to choose. I so boom. Today's private session with Fu Kang. He taught me a fuck ton of sweet variations. And I'm going to share with you the first three. But I haven't got no names for these, so bear with me. Sweet number one, basic sweet. This technique is mad simple, mad reliable. You catch your ops body kick by stepping out to the opposite side. The same leg that stepped out will take a step forward. Raise your free arm and place across his face and sweep with the opposite leg while pushing their face down. There's a lot of moving parts, so this can be a little confusing, but the rhythm and the movement is actually mad smooth. You just gotta drill it to get your body to understand. Three steps, one, two, three. Okay, now sweet variation two. This one's a lot more dramatic. If landed, it can be effective as hell. I don't know the name, so I'ma call it crossbody sweep. To practice, block with your lead leg first. Then on the second kick, you underhook catch. Then swig the leg across your body. Now your front leg and arm are both free. You then clothesline your up while sweeping their leg from behind. Now, to make your up fly, instead of sweeping behind the leg, use your thigh to kick and lift their thigh from behind and you'll dunk them, trust me. I 
I call this sweep the, are you not entertained? All right, say less. The last week I'm gonna show you the classic one. Underhook catch again, but this time you lift both your arms above your head while holding the foot. This is so they do a front split in the air, and if they ain't flexible, they'll be on the ground, guaranteed. This is why you gotta stretch every day, dogs. To guarantee the sweep, as you lift up, sweep the leg while you step forward. OP is fuck. You can defend this by jumping, which is hard, but it works. And check out some super extra sweeps that Kukeng showed. Like, what the fuck is this shit? The disrespect and this violation. Nah, we'll be coming back to learn more for sure. Hey yo, what the fuck? Mind blown. I feel like I've unlocked a whole new section of Muay Thai. And now, time to level it up. Not much time before my fight, but I'm sure I can drill some basic sweeps and use them. Now, we're finna hit training and do some sparring. Practice using those techniques. Let's see how easy or hard that shit is to do with a knock. Let's get it. Those other coach hops don't know what they're doing because they're staging. I'm looking for somebody who will go under and stay under. Six months, year, five years. What does he have to do? <laughs> buy drugs, sell drugs, set up the people that I want to buy. Yeah, yeah he's a snitch. He's a drug dealer. He's a criminal, he's a scumbag. Oh, yeah. But most importantly, he's a scumbag with the right side. You will be on loan to the DEA, and you'll report directly to me. I want you to buy from Jason and then get to the hell happens. Smash! You want to rush this thing? Yes. Rush it, please. It's not a question of approval. The fact exists he is in star freedom. He must command respect if he is to function. His neck was broken. By an expert. Explain. Well, from the nature and the location of the break, I'd say the killer knew exactly where to apply pressure to snap the neck instantly. Who aboard would have that not? Vulcan. On Vulcan, the method is called Talshaya. It was considered a merciful form of execution in ancient times. Spark. 
short time ago, I broke up an argument between Gav and your father. Indeed, Gav. Interesting. Fighting 26, easy. easy. Keep your body, you strong, Muay Thai. <laughs> Training very basic the same around the world, okay? Yeah. Training hard, fighting easy. Ooh. So, yo, I learned so much from Ku Kane, and he has a fuck ton more to share. So best believe there's gonna be a part two of this video. Got some good training before my fight, which is today, the day of recording. Feeling strong, feeling ready, and Ku Shin, Christian hit me with some good and some bad news. Good news is, if I win, he wants to take me to start fighting in Bangkok, which is fucking wild. Like, hello? This journey has been a mad thing. So you know man's locked in, and that means brand new content for you man too. But the bad news is, if I lose, he said he'd be cutting my pay. Like, what the fuck? I barely get paid anyway. The fuck, nigga? Damn. Allow it, man. Now I'm definitely winning. Make sure you're following me on IG because if you did, you would have seen my fight live. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for showing love, and I'll catch you, man, soon. Yeah? Fight night today. Chop Dina. Hey.